Hey there, my fellow financial adventurers. Today we're going to get down to the nitty-gritty of investing. We're going to cover the basics of stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and more. For legal reasons, this is not investment advice and meant for educational purposes. As always on this channel, teaching how to make money work for you. Because who wants to work for money? Let's start with the basics of investing. Investing is all about putting your money to work for you. There are several types of investments, but we're going to focus on the three most popular, stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. Stocks are essentially ownership shares in a company. When you buy a stock, you're buying a small piece of that company. The value of your stock will go up or down based on the company's performance. It's like buying a share of your favorite pizza joint, except instead of getting free pizza, you might actually make some money on this one. Like most assets, with stocks, you make money the price difference between what you bought and sold it at. Another way to make money is when iCompany gives out their part of their earnings in the form of dividends. But here's the deal with stocks. They can be risky. It's like betting on your favorite sports team, except instead of touchdowns, you're betting on the company's performance. So if the company does well, your investment goes up. But if they screw up, well, you might be eating ramen noodles for a while. Bonds, on the other hand, are loans that you make to a company or government. When you buy a bond, you're essentially lending your money to that entity. The entity promises to pay you back your initial investment plus interest. It's like being the bank, except instead of getting robbed, you're making some sweet, sweet cash. But here's the catch. Bonds are generally safer than stocks, but the returns are also lower. It's like playing it safe in a game of blackjack. You might not hit it big, but you also won't be sleeping on the street. And finally, we have mutual funds. Now these bad boys are a little more complicated, but bear with me. Mutual funds are collections of stocks and bonds that are managed by a professional investor. When you buy into a mutual fund, you're essentially buying a small piece of that collection. It's like putting all your eggs in multiple baskets. This way, if one company tanks, you won't be left holding the bag. But keep in mind, mutual funds are managed by a team of professionals who take a cut of the profits. So you don't have to worry about doing all the research yourself. It's like having a personal financial advisor, except you might have to settle for a slightly smaller yacht. All right, let's dive into the pros and cons of different investment types. First up, we have stocks. One big advantage of stocks is their potential for high returns. It's like playing the lottery, but instead of scratching off a ticket, you're buying shares of a company and hoping for a big payout. And with online brokers like Robinhood and e Asterisk Trade, you can easily buy and sell stocks in your underwear without ever leaving your couch. Just make sure you're not accidentally live streaming your trading moves to your grandma. But with the potential for high returns comes the potential for high risk. Stocks can be as unpredictable as your ex's mood swings. You might invest in a company that seems like a sure bet, only to see its stock price plummet overnight. And unless you're a financial guru, picking individual stocks can feel like blindly throwing darts at a board. Next up, bonds. Bonds are like the opposite of the stock market. They're like a cozy sweater, providing steady warmth and comfort. One big advantage of bonds is their lower risk compared to stocks. You're basically lending money to a company or government, and they promise to pay you back with interest. It's like being the bank instead of the borrower. Plus, if you invest in bonds that pay interest, you can receive regular payments like a dividend. But don't get too comfortable in that sweater. The downside of bonds is their lower potential for returns. You won't get rich quick with bonds, but you won't go broke quick either. And if inflation goes up, the value of your bond investment could go down faster than a frat boy after a beer bong. Last but not least, let's talk about mutual funds. Mutual funds are like the Netflix of investing. You pay a monthly fee, and you get access to a wide range of stocks and bonds. One big advantage of mutual funds is their diversification. When you invest in a mutual fund, your money is spread out among many different investments, reducing your overall risk. And if you're like me and don't know a bull from a bear, mutual funds are managed by professionals, so you don't need to be a financial wizard to invest in them. Just be prepared to pay some fees for that convenience. But even the best investment strategy can be hit by market fluctuations. Just like stocks, mutual funds can be impacted by market downturns. So make sure you're not putting all your eggs in one basket or you might end up with a lot of omelets. So, there you have it, the basics of investing. And remember, always do your own research and invest wisely. And if you're still not sure, just think of it like ordering food. You want a little bit of everything, 
but you also don't want to spend all your money on just one dish. Now, there are a ton of other investments out there, but these three are a good place to start. Remember, investing is all about balancing risk and reward. So make sure to do your research and talk to a financial advisor before you start throwing your money around. And hey, if all else fails, there's always the classic investment strategy of burying your money in the backyard. Sure, you won't make any interest, but at least you'll have a nice workout digging it up. Remember, it's important to do your research and invest wisely. Happy investing!